We're back on the North Coast. We're in a beautiful town of Porta Plata. Beautiful scenery. We're gonna check out the town, see what it got to offer. It's real low key and chill here. It's not like all the other big beaches here. We're gonna check out a few beaches they got in this area. Of course, we're gonna hit the streets. We're gonna hang out with the locals. We're gonna go to the famous umbrella area. Of course, Pink Street. Enjoy the video. As I was driving to get to Porta Plata, I came across this go-kart park. And this was unusual. I haven't seen many places like this. I'm sure Santiago has it. Of course, that's the capital. Bigger city, big buildings. But to see this out here, I was a bit surprised. I would say it was nice. It was real chill here. There were three different tracks that you could choose from. The go-karts were a little slow, but I still thought it was cool. It shocked me to see. I had to pull over and check it out. I don't know how much it costs. You had to get in line to find a price. I doubt if it's that much. I saw all locals there, so it's something cool to see. How you doing? Okay. All right. Uh, quanto? How okay. much? Okay. Over here. Okay. okay. Last is. Okay. Oh, they got a little smaller one over here for the kids. So they got three different courses. Yeah. Oh, you want to come out and find something to do? Here you go. This was a big hotel casino and it had a bar. That parking lot was packed. So I'm assuming this is one of the hot spots in Porta Plata. I saw a lot of big resorts and hotels listed online for Porta Plata and they have a big golf course here. I'm not a golfer, but this is one place where you can go golfing. Porta Plata is beautiful. You don't hear much about it compared to Sasua, Punta Cana, other places like that. But it's real nice. We still headed in the city. We we right by it. Check those mountains out. Check those views out. Man, it's beautiful. This is the cocoa factory. They got some nice chocolate in there. Check that out. I'm talking about beautiful. Look at that. You can enjoy this all day. One thing I can't stop talking about are the views here on this island. Almost everywhere you go, you're going to see a view. And just seeing the mountains in the background, Man, I would love to see this every day. And I couldn't imagine seeing this every day. We got some nice artwork in here. A lot of African, African pieces. It looks good. And you know what? I walk, I already walked through one or two streets and these buildings remind me of New Orleans. If you look at the structures, I'll show you some more houses. Man, that's a beautiful building right here. You can see the water down there. I'm good today. He got some nice shoes he's selling. Look, you can down there, you can see the water. And then the backtrack over here, you can see the mountains. Dude, I need to get out the street before I get hit. Porta Plata is a nice spot. See all the shops behind me. Got a barber shop right here. I like how they re reusing these old buildings. You can see, there's no telling how old this building is. As I was walking through here, that's what I got. I got that, that New Orleans feel of, of the houses and the buildings over here. And that's what you get out here. Got a lot of, a lot of bars, restaurants, a lot of small shops. One thing about Porta Plata that I found out. Let me speak on this real quick. I've been traveling to Dominican Republic for about 15 years now. I've been here maybe over 10 times. I can't even count. 
during that time, it go to a lot of cities. Punta Cana, Sasua, Cabarete, Santiago, Santa Domingo, a lot of places. I'm getting a lot of comments, most of them good, positive, but I get those few, few experts that want to chime in on just me speaking on things. This is my opinion when I'm talking. This is just from what I'm seeing. I don't look at politics when I travel to countries. I'm talking to locals because I'm shocked that this place is so beautiful and it's empty. Yes, I am in the slow season, but I also ask them during the hot time, is it still packed? I am hearing no. I'm just amazed that this place is so nice, so put together, maintained, and it has a lot to offer and it's empty. I suggest everybody to come out here. Don't just go to those main places. Go check out Horopacoa. Go check out Fort Plata. Santiago. I can go for days. I went to La Vega. I didn't do a video on La Vega. I went to Acapulco. There's a nice river there. I didn't do any videos there, so I did travel more than I usually when I come here. So I do thank all the YouTube experts. I suggest you pick up a camera and come join in if I'm not doing a good job. I appreciate y'all watching the videos. Yes, leave your comments, give suggestions, give your opinions. But at the end of the day, I'm traveling the world. This is just one country out of 30 I've already been to, and I'm still exploring new countries. So I do appreciate you watching the videos. Joy. Was before COVID, I had a, a big storm or flood that flooded out the airport. And then after COVID, for some reason, Porta Plata wasn't being marketed and advertised as much as it, it used to before that stuff happened. You can see the background. This is the center. Beautiful. This building right here. Y'all can't tell me this don't look like New Orleans. It feels like New Orleans. Look at these old buildings. I've been here for a few days. You will see me changing clothes in videos. This mainly locals, majority locals. I would say out of every four, three of them gonna be a local. And they here on vacation, they touring too. But look how beautiful it is. These buildings are nice. Then I just love the backdrop with the mountains. People just out here chilling. But uh, Porta Plata has the port here. When the cruises come, this is where they drop off. And then that's over that way. That's down that way. So they'll be here. I don't know how long they usually dock. I haven't been on a cruise. Whether it's six hours, eight hours, 12 hours. That's how they get in there tourists coming in. That's just for a short period. But I noticed Punta Cana has always been a hot spot. Sasua has always been a hot spot. There's a lot of other beautiful areas and Dominican that I don't see him being advertised and marketed as much. This is one place. We're gonna go to the coast. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the coastline and see the water. They still building. You see buildings coming up. They're doing a whole lot of building over here. And you see, I've seen a lot of Europeans and a lot of Canadians out here. And I'll talk to them and say what's up and ask them where they're from. But that's what majority, that's the majority that I'm seeing out here. This is a nice, nice hangout spot. It's nice if you're under some shade. It's hot right now. They love feeding the birds out here. He about to get a little girl some seeds. I guess I can get some seeds too to get it on camera. See seeds? How much? How much? It's a double Two for twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. You got you got to ask before you take it. Get get a close up. 
He just chilling. I usually don't do this. I'm just doing this for the gram. I'm doing this for for y'all. Let's see if I can get one in my hand. Arriba. Arriba. He calling them. Hey. There we go. I don't do pigeons. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just doing it for now. But look, I can feel them pecking the corn, hitting it in my hand. He chilling. Okay, it's the bird man. Yeah, Dominican Twitter. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mucho yeah. English. Yeah. You speak good English. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, it's yeah. good. Bien. Yeah. All right. Same to you. Yeah. <laughs> you will find a lot of guys in the tourist area. Tell me, Umbrella Street is down that way. So we're going to walk. We're going to walk around. I had that bird on my hand, now I feel like I gotta wash my hands. It's one of the biggest banks out here, popular. Check out this church, I didn't even get the church, beautiful. There are so many places to visit if you out here in Dominican. And I suggest, if you do have time, a week. If you got a week, rent a car. I'm not the guy to be on a on an all-inclusive hotel and don't lead a hotel. They might have some tours. You can get out and do some things. There's Pink Street down there, but um, get out, explore. There's so much to see. They got a lot of shops down here. I guess this is people doing their hair at. Got a lot of salons. Got a, got a couple spots. If you need some some bathing suits, swimsuits, this is where you go. You got all the flags, all the different countries. Got some nice artwork out here. We're gonna go around see if we can avoid the noise. Just giving y'all a little walk through. It's hot. We need to find some water. Got gotcha. your Shell gas station out here. Got four pumps in the corner in the middle of, of the spot. Got your ice cream across the street. They do a lot of yogurt out here and it's natural, it's good, it's healthy. They don't have that much sugar in it. I had some ice cream, I thought it was gonna be ice cream but it was yogurt and it tastes like it was like sugar free but it was natural. And it had natural fruits in it and it was good so you know it was a healthy healthy dessert healthy snack got a gift shop right there one thing i haven't figured out these logos i'm out here in the short and t-shirt and it's hot. You just sweat. You see these locals, you don't see no sweat on their body. You be like, how is this possible? And they might have a long sleeve on. They might have jeans on with shoes. They just used to it. I don't know if I can ever get used to it. It's it's pretty humid right now. It's a uh, cool spot. You want to work out you definitely get one you're gonna burn some calories you just go for a walk these old buildings no telling how old they are i hope they refurbish it i hope they don't tear it down you got a few people in and out you go to the beach you'll see a lot of more people 
You just come here maybe for a drink, get some coffee, got some more, more ice cream over here. But again, see a few people that's that's not from here. Got another ice cream spot right here. But this is a this is a nice chill spot. Again, check out there. You get million dollar views out here, and you got the beach, and you got the mountain views. What more could you ask for? I love coffee. Shouldn't be eating, shouldn't be drinking, but man, that's uh, we gonna go check out Pink Street. I have to get some shade. Cigar smokers, you know, they got the cigar. Dominican is known for their cigars. I've been to a cigar shop where they made them. Oh, pharmacy. Any and everything you need, you can get out here. You just go to the pharmacy. If you know the name, or even if you don't know the name, they'll be able to help you. This is a famous spot out here in Dominican, in Puerto Plata. Everybody come here for the famous Pink Street. I don't know if it's officially a street. I would say it probably is. It's just a few buildings that they painted. This is a shop over here. So they sell food and everything. Got a nice, nice props for, for you to take pictures and stuff. But this is a nice little spot. They're selling coffee. You got coffee, cigars, and drinks. And drinks. What's up? But you take all your pictures. These mirrors. I don't know what's in this building. Got something up there. I'm not sure what it is. But yeah, that's it. You can hang out, have some good drinks. Yeah, that's it. Let's see. Hey, how are you? What's up? What's going on? While I was here, I was driving through the town and I came across this neighborhood. And I just wanted to get out and, and walk the streets just to see, you know, how the area filled. To the left, if you look down, there were a lot of houses down there. So this was like the outside of the neighborhood. And this was all the shops, stores. But it looked real nice. It looked like any other neighborhood I've been in in, in Dominican. And uh, it was chill. Again, I, it, I didn't feel uncomfortable. I didn't feel like, you know, I shouldn't have been there. I guarantee there were no tourists over there. There's no reason for any tourists to be there, but I just wanted to see how people live in. Water Plata is a little different. One thing I noticed is, majority of the beach is not accessible. You can't walk down to it. There's not a lot of areas where there is sand. Now there are a lot of areas where there are beaches, but for the most part, majority of the water you can't get to because there's a lot of rocky areas and trees. Look how far they are out there and they're just knee high. It's crazy. He's out there fishing. See, guys over here, they swimming. Real windy, I'm not sure if my audio is going to be as clear. This is kind of the beginning of their, their coastline walk. There, I mean, there's more, there's more water and everything down there. There's a hotel over there and there's the port for the plot of sport where all the ships and everything are coming through. You can still walk down that way and get to more 
more the ocean. We made it to beautiful Puerto Plata. We're here. Got a lot of beautiful artwork on a lot of the buildings. Pretty nice. See, this is a nice little strip. On Sundays, this place is crazy. All the locals come out, they'll be lined up along the waters, and they'll be out there with the lawn chairs, drinking, listening to music. Over here, this is where it starts with all the restaurants and everything. So you got a whole bunch of restaurants. Hello. You got a whole bunch of restaurants along the coastline where you're going to get tourist prices over here. And they got a lot of good food. It is loud. So you get pretty much any and everything you're looking for. It's it goes down for a couple blocks. There's about two or three more blocks of uh, restaurants down here. But this is where the beginning of the food starts. There's a lot of other restaurants by the coastline we're gonna go to and I'll show y'all some food. There is a lot of good food out here. You're gonna spend some money. So depending on how much money you're trying to spend, that's what you're gonna get. Hola. Got the tour bus out here. All the, the elderly out here hanging out. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably try this restaurant. This restaurant nice. Check out these views, our beautiful views. And this is a slow season. This beach is nice. It's cool right now. It's been hot since I've been here. But check the views out. Bonito, beautiful. Million dollar views. See the water. I love those rocks in the background. I don't think, I've been to too many places where you can see those rocks like that. So, I got some lobster and some rice and some beans. It looks good. I've been waiting. I will say, I was not happy with the service. I ordered this food probably about an hour ago. 40 minutes to 50 minutes ago. And it's been taking some time. But I'm about to enjoy it. Yes, sir. Okay, this beach here was one of the main beaches they have. And it's nice. There's about maybe five to eight restaurants along the coast of that of this area. And you can order your food down on the beach or you can go up in a restaurant and eat. One thing I liked about this was you had access to drinks and food and they would come bring it down to you. Beach was clean, it was nice, it wasn't packed, it wasn't overcrowded. I've been to some beaches on this island where it's just crazy packed. You can't find any chairs, no umbrellas, nothing. And you're just walking around trying to find somewhere to chill and it's loud. So that's one thing I do like about Puerto Plata. If you want to come out and relax, take it easy, 
this would be the place I'd go. Oh, and I forgot, those shares down there on the beach, they're not free. You have to pay the guys out there. I think it was 200, 300 pesos. It's not like that everywhere. Cabaret day, you have to pay as well. So Sua, you didn't have to. When they find out you're a local, you had to ask them how much, but the average price should be 200 pesos. And I had one guy try to charge me more, and I told him, no, that's not how much they cost. Then he changed the price. I didn't think that was cool, but I understand they trying to hustle, they trying to make the money and if you think about it 200 pesos is it's less than four dollars tip them show some love but at least tell me the price up front and if i choose to give you more than i will but don't try to hustle me up front nicer the water's calmer you got you got a tree in the background yeah. it's a nice little spot i'll be coming out here to hang out Probably get in the water. Yeah. It's nice. They got they got something inside the, the trees and stuff. Not sure what it is. Nice nice restaurants. Got some more gift shops. Hot and humid. water going to it's not connecting I wonder if they open it up it's just sitting water okay it's a little cut I like it's a restaurant back back in there we got the bathroom over here they got some massage chairs that's that uh let's see if I can zoom in be a little too far. Well, it's nice. If you need a tan, it's definitely the spot. Because it's necklaces, wood stuff. I'm good. Got a lot of souvenirs, hats. How you doing? Got a tourist bus pulling up. Marking it. New builds starting at 98,000. It's pretty nice. Got a nice size gym in there. Well, it's not built yet, but it's going to look nice. Right off the water. I'm just walking along the main strip where the beach is at and this is one thing I love to see development there are buildings coming up in a lot of areas I've, I traveled north of Puerto Plata and they're remodeling a lot of the older buildings 
but this is one thing I love to see. They are still putting money into the town. You can see these are huge buildings, huge developments, and look at the prices, it's crazy. You can get a brand new condo for a hundred grand with ocean views. This was another beach area north of Puerto Plata. It was kind of private, I really didn't understand it, but you had to drive through a security checkpoint to get to it. And this area had some houses within that neighborhood, and they also had, you know, some stores and restaurants. This beach was quiet, so I am here on an off season where a lot of people aren't here. A lot of people come when it gets cold, during the winter time. This is when you see these areas packed, but I, I still enjoyed it. This beach was quiet, it was low key, and if you don't know what's there, you won't find it. So I just looked on the map and I look at the main roads and I just drive to these roads and see what's at the end of them. I try not to post a lot of negative stuff, but this is one country that I would say, you know, they don't care about the environment. They don't care about their land. I'm seeing this a lot. I've been trying not to post it, but this is one of the bigger piles I've seen so far. But along the whole coastline, built up with trash they just throwing it bottles and it's here it's going to be a restaurant it's a business it's all drinks i don't like showing negativity and bad things it's just hurting my heart just to see all this trash out here like this and you got the beautiful ocean right there the water's coming in they put some buoys here to try to stop the trash to go out, but this is this is nothing here. This is small compared to all the other stuff I've seen. Then I've been to some countries where it's the opposite. You won't see anything on the ground. Not one piece of trash. And that surprised me. But this land is so beautiful. I don't know if the camera can pick it up because it's kind of far. But yeah. overall, in my opinion, Porta Plata is a very beautiful town. And if you're looking for a real low-key chill beach town to hang out in, to me, Porta Plata would be the place. In addition to that, you still got Sassoul and Cabaret Day just 30 minutes away. You can be hanging out in Porta Plata and if you want to check out another beach town, you just a drive away or you can hop in a taxi. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe, share, appreciate the love I'm getting. Stay tuned for the next one.